Showing you how to record Minecraft with Xfire. Uh, this will be the fourth tutorial I've done, and hopefully everybody finds that it's working for them. This should not ever not work again, if you get what I mean, because uh, Xfire has finally incorporated Minecraft into their games list, so it's compatible now, and hopefully that will be compatible until Evil One expires or gets shut down probably be Xfire, can't match Minecraft being shut down anytime soon, but uh, this is how you do it. So click on Xfire if you've downloaded it, it'll be Xfire 2.0 from the Xfire website which will be in the link, otherwise if you've downloaded it already just click on it, log in, and click on the controller tab and you should see Minecraft there. If not, go into settings, game library, scroll down and if it's not here, go into add game, like add it manually, so click where your minecraft.exe is, mine's on my desktop, so that's why it says it there. And then once you've done that, it should just come up with all this and you'll be fine. And then you just close that. Uh, then you go on to this again, you launch it like this. Obviously, as I've said in previous tutorials, you check all the settings and the keys so that it can work. Otherwise, just go straight into it if you know all that. Uh, play it. You'll know that it's working uh, because a little system tab thing will top there. Are, will pop up here. Uh, you get both outside and inside, just telling you that all X uh, is to get the X fire in-game working, whereas uh, other keys are for other things. Uh, it tells you to put it up to 800 and 600 minimum screen resolution, but it doesn't matter. It'll still work. Just maybe not to the point of what would be better. So if I go on survival, I'll just go on one of the worlds. Uh, you'll see it here. In-game, just jump around a bit. Uh, and if you press Alt-X, you'll get the in-game thing working. If that doesn't work, uh, you will need to edit the settings, uh, like I showed before. You can go on the internet, you can edit settings, you can broadcast live, I think that's via Twitch or their own thing. You can record. So click that, click to record, it says recording up here. Uh, that'll disappear in a bit. So it doesn't distract you like that. And then exit. Just exit these, press exit. And you can just move around normally. Hopefully it shouldn't uh, decrease your gameplay experience as much, you know, because of performance and graphical settings but otherwise you should be fine and that's how you do it and then obviously screenshots and all that are done the other way or you can press the uh, keys which I think is Alt V, Alt X and Alt C to get up um, screenshot video and in X firing game not too sure about that but you can customize that however you want and that is how it works it's pretty much simple this hopefully helps everybody else who's been commenting saying how do you do this and uh, yeah I find this well I didn't really sort it out to be honest it was implemented next fire people who made the implementation of Minecraft should be taking all the credit but I just wanted to show people you know visually for a video and I hope you like the video and comment and subscribe see ya